My name is Dr. Henry Lewis. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist and I deliver babies. I work at Delta Memorial Hospital. My favorite book is Doc Like Mommy. And I love this book because it's written by my daughter. When she was a baby girl, I used to tell her stories about things that happened in the hospital and she would sit there fascinated by it. And I used to say, when you're a doctor, daddy will come and see you. Now she is a doctor and daddy does go see her as a doctor. And she's telling her daughter, and her daughter uh, is now eight years old, and her daughter's name is Lily, and she tells her stories about when you're a doctor, mama will come and see you. And rather than hoping she'd become a doctor, my daughter decided to write a book about Lily as a baby girl and when she becomes a doctor. And that's why it's my favorite book. The book is about mommies be taking care of their daughters. We always talk about boys and how they do well in the world and they become doctors and engineers and, and lawyers. My daughter always told me, girls can do anything guys can do and they can do it better. Well, I used to wonder, could she? And she has. She is a doctor, she has raised two kids and she tells stories about singing to them, telling stories to them and doctoring them. So my favorite character in this book is Lily, not my daughter, because Lily is going to be the new doctor in the family. So that's where I'm pinning all my hopes. My favorite who, superhero, if I could be anybody, would be Superman. Hands down, he can fly. He can see the world. He can be here. He can be there. He can do all the things that I wanted to do as a little boy. If I could be a superhero, I'd have a cape and I would fly all day long. My personal superhero was my mom. She was uh, a widowed mother at 45 with two kids. She chose never to remarry. She wanted her kids to go to school. She sacrificed everything. She would teach school during the day. She would clean houses at night so we could have an education. My brother became a fire chief. I became a doctor and all because of this one woman. And this one woman sacrificed everything for us and gave us everything. I always some questions from kids from your schools. And the first one is from Kayden, who is age seven from Lincoln Elementary. And she wants to know, how do you get sick from catching germs? Germs are those foreign little things that get into your body. Colds, flus, not all germs are bad but you get an infection from a germ because your body recognizes it as foreign. It's something that doesn't belong there. And it mounts a defense for it. Like when the ants attack the other ant colony, your body mounts a response. And if it's a good germ that we can defeat, a little fever, a little swelling, and your body defeats it and you become healthy again. We have another question. Gabby, age 10, from Garnet Mesa Elementary wants to know, are there good germs? Of course there are. When you eat food, and I know you all like broccoli. Well, maybe not broccoli, ice cream. When you take those foods in, you have bacteria in your GI tract, in your gut, in your stomach that helps digest them. It turns that solid food into stuff that your body can use and absorb. Reading is so important. If I had not loved to read and my mother insisted on it, I used to think it was a chore. Now I use it as an escape. If I have an hour or two and I want to get away, I can go to France, I can go to 1850, I can go to see dinosaurs, all in a book. So when you have those summer times and that downtime, get a book, escape, nobody can intrude. So use that summer, stay safe, stay healthy, and avoid COVID.